I call Jessica McKnight. Madam Speaker, Honourable Youth MPs, distinguished guests and those who are watching from home, my sincerest thank you for the, for the opportunity to speak today. Today, we are youth speaking for youth. During my tenure as Mongakeke's youth MP, I reached out to the youth in my electorate and asked what was of greatest concern to them. 63% said mental health. When asked why, more than half said personal experience. The response from my community led me to pose this question. When will the stigmatisation of youth mental health come to a halt in our communities? New Zealand's youth suicide rate cannot be solved overnight, but the first step to finding a resolution is understanding the problem. When the youth of Mongahiki said personal experience, they meant that there are far too many of our own friends having panic attacks in the school bathroom, resorting to drugs and alcohol to fill a void, self-harming because they feel alone, and isolating themselves because depression stops them from getting out of bed. There are far too many who have lost family members to suicide, who have thought about taking their life, and who have taken their life. However, the issue of mental health is not electorate-based, but nationwide. With a nation comes community, and with community comes beliefs. New Zealand youth are raised to patch themselves up. We pride ourselves on Kiwi ingenuity and the ability to keep moving forward. With this comes the classic phrase of, she'll be right. Granted, these three words are not solely to blame for the appalling teenage death rate our country holds, but the laid-back approach that far too many are familiar with definitely does not help the problem. Social media has glamorised mental illness to such an extent that some consider it trendy to be unwell, normal for graphic self-harm images to be shared publicly, and cool to belittle others struggling. I'm all for the Kiwi way, but duct tape can't fix a chemical imbalance in your brain. Youth are scared to speak up for these reasons. Youth are dying for these reasons. More than 40% of the youth I spoke to said they don't feel supported enough to reach out to their community. If this is the case, how can we expect them to reach out to an organisation? The breakdown of stigmas begins in your community with the implicit expression of encouragement from within the circles you are a part of. Kiwi kids deserve a brighter future. Even with proposed funding towards mental health services, youth are still terrified of the way they will get looked at. How can services be utilised if youth are scared to use them? Everyone always asks, what is the most important thing in the world? Well, Madam Speaker, it is people, it is people, it is people. We need to take care of our people, and I'm calling on the government to lead the way. Thank you. Madam Speaker. I call Jackson Minear. Are all things new?